8th July 2020, after a hiatus of over 100 days, international cricket finally resumed with England taking on the West Indies in Southampton for a day of test cricket that will be etched in every fan's memory for a very, very long time. On day one of the first test, cricket starts, stops, starts, stops because of rain. The sport stands in solidarity and Gabriel takes no time to draw first blood. On the first afternoon of cricket's return, you could just sense how much had things changed and how much it would take to get accustomed to the new realities. Ben Stokes came out post an early lunch on day one for the toss with Jason Holder and made his first mistake, that of almost shaking hands with Jason Holder at the toss. But he won the toss and did what seems like his second mistake, opted to bat first on an overcast afternoon. England going ahead with Mark Wood in place of Stuart Broad, while West Indies going ahead with a four-pronged pace attack, with Roston Chase designated as their part-time off-spinner. Before cricket began though, both teams took the knee to stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, a moving image of how the sport stands for equality. But once Kemar Roach had the ball in his hands, ran into bowl the first ball to Rory Burns, it was all about cricket again. And in just that one instance, you could sense just how dubious Ben Stokes' decision was too bad first because the ball was not only coming out quick out of the hands of the West Indies Pacers, but it was also moving. Rory Burns survived an LBW call right at the start of his innings because the DRS returned an umpire's call on hitting. But if he did that to Kima Roach, his partner Dom Sibley couldn't do that to a man on a comeback. Shannon Gabriel ran in, bowled quick shaped the ball into Dom Sibley and took the top of his off stump. And just like that, on cricket's return, we saw a wicket before we saw a run. Shannon Gabriel in particular was very impressive because he is returning from an injury and yet kept clocking paces in excess of 90 miles an hour. In at number three was Joe Denley, who tried stitching a partnership with Rory Burns, but with frequent rain interruptions, no one really got to see much of that partnership as day one ended with just 106 balls being bowled. The weather forecast for the rest of the game promises to get better as the game goes along. And while on a day that had an early lunch, an early tea and a stumps within which only a handful of overs were bowled, you can't look away from the fact that it is game time again. Albeit in a biosecure environment with sanitization breaks, it is game time and that should be reason enough for all eyeballs and all the attention to tune in to day two.